Hi to everyone and welcome back. We have all been through life and faced difficulties, uncertainties. We've been disappointed, hurt, situations that we have been through or experienced that have somehow scarred us in our hearts, our thinking. And you know, these can have a detrimental effect on our walk with the Lord and in the life that we want to live today. Paul says in the book of Philippians chapter 3, verse 13, he says, one thing I do, I forget the things which are behind and I reach forward to the things that are in front. It's amazing that he highlights this aspect by saying, one thing I do. It's not three steps or 10 steps. It's one thing I do. And you can feel his heart of determination because this man had been through much. He had been persecuted. He had been hurt many times, suffered many things. But in him was this determination to forget the things of the past. And you know, in the Greek, that word forget literally means to neglect. It's as if you have, uh, if, if I can give this illustration, a, a plant. And you know, the, you put the seed in the ground and it grows. Uh, but somehow, unless you take care of it, it needs to be fertilized. It needs to be watered. It needs to be pruned. It needs to be looked after. It needs to be put in the best place so it can grow. That's if you want to take care of it and nurture it. But Paul is saying, don't do that to the bad things of the past. Don't nurture them. Don't think about them. Don't take care of them. He is saying, forget them. Neglect them. Put that seed aside. Don't give it water. Don't give it any good soil. Don't fertilize it. Don't take care of it. Don't give it any undue attention whatsoever. Treat it as if it doesn't exist. Neglect. So the things that I've been through in my past, things that have hurt and disappointed me through people and circumstances, that needs to be the attitude. I am going to neglect them. I'm not going to allow these seeds of hurt and disappointment to grow within me anymore. I'm going to treat it as a plant. I'm going to put it to one side and I'm going to watch it die so that it has no roots. It has no life. It has no effect. It brings forth no fruit. And that's the way we can walk in true freedom. And that's how we then reach forward to the new things that God has prepared for us. Why? Because he loves us. That's God's way. God bless you.